Hello, this is Daniel Thomas Sandra Daly. This is a no height sermon watching TV. Okay. Now, when I grew up, I was raised in a Catholic home. We weren't overtly religious, but we went to church every Sunday. But we didn't talk about it that much at home, only a little bit. But we did generally believe the thing. Uh, we weren't terribly restricted in what we could watch on TV. In the 1990s, I was born in 1972, and in the 1970s, I'd watch TV as a kid. In the 1980s, I'd watch TV. In the 1990s, the early parts, I was still at home. But in the mid-1990s, I went to Pentecostal churches for a while and enjoyed Potter's House, which seemed to frown on TV. I was in Potter's House for about a year or so. In the United Pentecostal Church I joined next, they didn't quite technically say you can watch TV. Potter's House didn't say you couldn't. It's just that it wasn't considered terribly holy. Now, nothing's theoretically changed for my life since Potter's House days, necessarily. But uh, I'm rever I've reverted to my Catholic way and my standard dangle daily way of watching TV if I want to. But there's, there's some advice I want to give for the advancing argument. Most free-to-air TV is censored enough that it's kosher, for want of a better word. It's okay enough TV to watch usually. The stuff on YouTube is usually past censorship guidelines that most of it's acceptable enough TV to watch. Uh, the same is probably true well enough with most pay TV, but most of it is past guidelines. The stuff you buy on DVD down the stores is usually okay enough. Now there's some material, sexual material, X-rated sexual material, which you can really only get from sex stores, buying sex videos and sex DVDs and so forth. X-rated material, which they don't show on TV or pay for view things. They do show them on websites x-rated websites now i don't say that this stuff this x-rated stuff is good for you there's also things like excessive violence videos and things like that other carnal things which you do find on the internet especially those aren't recommended those sorts of things not everything on tv is necessarily that wholesome there's some movies you might want to question whether you should really watch as a no hide. If you can stomach it and tolerate it and continue on you with your holiness and it doesn't deteriorate because of the TV you're watching, all well and good. Who's to judge you? But it could be the case that these things might have an influence. For that reason, we have to probably be discerning. It's your own ultimate judgment how you function with TV.